What is going on guys, AvatarManZ here, and I thought I'd make a tutorial for you guys on how to mod Rocket League and get modded Rocket League going for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is follow the links in the description, first one being for the Rocket Launcher on RocketLeagueMods.com. So just click on the link, make sure you have the .NET Framework and C++ uh, redistributable first beforehand. Go to the blue download button and download it. It's going to be in a zip, so you're going to need to extract it. The second step is to download Evolve for Windows. And the third link is for the LAN Beach Volley Workshop map. Each member that you're going to be in a party with and playing this with uh, is going to need to download this map as well. The best way to do it would actually be in-game already. So once you're in-game, you're going to want to open your Steam Overlay by hitting Shift-Tab. Go down to View Community Hub. Click on the Workshop tab and find the maps that you want. So then your first step is going to be to launch the Rocket Launcher. And then once you have Rocket League loaded, and the rocket launcher open you're just going to click on load mods there's also a setting in here that you can auto load the mods when you launch the rocket launcher then you're going to go to the map swapper tab and choose the drop down for the map that you want to use you're going to want to hit the refresh button if you don't see the maps loaded the first time you can see here i've got all of the workshop maps downloaded already and the one we're going to use is the beach volley then you're going to hit swap You'll see this message, map swap success, under pass should now load up beach volley. Now, one thing to note here is that every time you swap a map, you're going to have to restart Rocket League and restart the rocket launcher. So after you swap the map, you're going to want to actually go into Evolve, go to your Friends tab, and add your friend on here. They're gonna, you're going to both need to make accounts for Evolve first. And then once you see them as online, you're going to right-click on them and create a party. Then you already sent them a party invite, so once they join, you'll see connected, and you'll see your IP here, and you'll see your teammates' IP there. If your status does not say connected, you're actually going to go to Device Manager. Right-click on the Evolve Virtual Ethernet Adapter, go to Properties. Then you're going to go to the Advanced tab, go to your MAC address, and set this to a value of 01 and hit OK. Once you guys are both greenlit, then you guys are good to go, and you don't even need to be in a party. All you got to do as the host is go to play, go to play local and host local lobby. So then the map we're going to choose after we select our mutators, we're going to make sure we load into underpass, create the match, and leave these blank. Just hit create match. Now you can see that we've loaded in here already. And if you are not the host and you're going to be just joining your friends, you're going to be going to play, play local, join local lobby, and it'll search here. You're going to click and click connect. So if you guys like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for notifications on my new videos. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Avatar Manzi, signing out.